Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of City of the Shroud. It's by Abyssal Arts and it releases on August 9th, 2018. Now, I think I, I saw this game like months and months and months and months ago and it looked amazing. I was like, yes, I want that. And then I completely forgot about it. I, even though I put a request in to get it and the request came through and here it is. So I kind of glanced over it real quick. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, so we're going to hop in we're going to play. Everyone, keep to your line. Farmers to the left, civilians in the center, merchants to the right. Keep moving, have your documents ready. Oh, he's just adorable, isn't he? Next! Papers? I'm from the Outer Farms. I came to find work. Papers. What? Gods above, you can't just come into the city. You need papers for me to review. Here. Fill them out and be quick about it. What is your name? My name is going to be... Holla back at ya. Holla back at ya. Alright. Huh? And what's a farmer going to do in the city, hmm? I figured I'd just find work. Where are you going to stay? I'll find somewhere. Really? Look, our city is crowded enough. If you can't give me some answers, you can't come in. I can't just have vagrants on the street doing nothing and starting fights. I'll find work, I swear. I can't go home. Hmm. Maybe if you were to give me a few gold, I could overlook the irregularities? Just this once, of course. A few gold. Only have some silver. How many? Thirty. Done. It's all I have. Take it or leave it, but I thought you were so sure you could find work. You wouldn't have been lying to me, would you? I... Here, take it. Pleasure doing business with you, and mind the portals. The what now? Move along! Move along! No, seriously, did you say portals? Move along! Oh, hell. Portal! Okay. Everybody run! Wait, what? What the hell are portals? See that thing over there? Full of monsters? Run! What is going on in this city? Out of the way! Defenders into formation! You! Traveler! Psst, over here! Down this alley! I have no idea. I like literally just installed the game and I, I launched it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to play. Enjoy the, the struggle, guys and gals. They have portals, apparently. Quick, down this, this sketchy looking alley to safety. Uh, why are you just standing there? This alley is definitely safe. See? Look at me not getting robbed or eaten or anything. <laughs> I, I, I can't move my legs. Move your leg? Why would you... Oh, right. I always forget how quaint the outer provinces are. Well, how else am I supposed to run? Just right-click on any of the blue tiles near you to move. Yes. Ah, I love it. Sorry. Just, just right-click on a blue tile. Really? That's how all of the movers and shakers in Iskendron... Sure. Are getting around these days, but I suppose with your wardrobe, anyone can guess that you're behind the times. What about that green glowing tile? Can I right click on that? Those are even better. They'll give you more action points AP to keep fleeing from your rapidly approaching death. And remember that battles in Iskendrun happen in real time, so the more AP you have, the more you can do like fleeing. Oh, wait, what? Real time? It's a tactical turn AP based grid system in real time. Well, this seems terrifying and bad, but we'll, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Wait, real time? Where I come from, fighters patiently take turns hitting each other in battle. Yes, they do, friend. Yes, they do. How charming. Don't worry. Simply keep your wits about you and an eye on how much AP you have, and you'll be fine. Okay. I suppose the sketchy looking alleyway is probably safe. 
I'm on my way. Ah! Uh -huh. I can't see any more than this. Um, get to safety. I is there is there a zoom feature or something? No. Thank the gods! What is that thing? A portal. It's what we call them. At least every so often they open up and monsters come out into the streets. Run like hell if you see one. Those monsters will drag you into the portals if they catch you. That's crazy. Eh, what's crazy is how everyone here seems to be out for themselves. Even in these chaotic times, no one simply helps. Hand over your gold, old man. Help, traveler! Use basic what? Use your combo wheel to defeat this vile thug. Wait, what? Y y you do know how to use a combo wheel, right? Um, of course I do. It's kind of like a D-pad, right? People have used those for to fight for years. It is kind of like a D-pad, yes, but combo wheels are the latest in combat technology. Left click on an enemy and hold and then drag your mouse over the basic attack you want to use. When you finish selecting the attacks, release to pummel your opponent. And keep in mind that the big X in the center of the combo wheel will reset your inputs. Yeah, use it if you want to start over. Oh god in heaven. Left click, drag over my attacks and release. Yeah, 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 I knew that. Um. I don't know what's happening. That was very strange. I'm not gonna lie. Whew! They're getting bolder by the day, I swear. I must give you something in recompense. A hat! Would be wasted on that outfit, to be honest. How about this Link Gem? What's a Link Gem? Why, a Link Gem allows you to do more graceful things than simply whacking thieves with a stick. We, we punched them with our robotic hands, by the way. It will be most useful with your increased elegance. You will soon be worthy of my finest hats. Yes. I, um, well, I suppose that's a life goal. Um, but I really don't want to be getting into any fights. There! The one in the cloak! Get him! I'd take it if I were you. At the risk of being called quaint again, I think I see what to do with this Link Gem. I can use a specific series of basic attacks to activate a powerful, unique effect. Okay. This one looks like it's called Mega Punch. And it activates by inputting right, then up on the combo wheel. Good job reading, Traveler. I didn't know people from the Outer Provinces could do that. I love this game so much right now. This is so good. But no matter, you are correct, Wise Traveler. On the matter of Link Gems, you should ever... You should ever not know what to do. The spinning arrow in your combo wheel will show you how to activate your chosen Link Gem. Most importantly, if you save up your AP to unleash the right basic attacks in a row, your dazzling display will at least begin to make up for your dismal appearance. Okay, right, then up. Smashing! For someone who claims to want to avoid fights, you pack one hell of a punch. Mega punch number two. Ow, I got hit back. Basically, I just did a basic attack there. I need more AP. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the AP. There it is. All right, we got it. Let's go. Mega dead. Ugh, you know, maybe it would be just best just to go home. Yes, of course, that will solve your problems. Are you mocking me? Of course I am. One can't make a life out of running away. Good heavens. Take the second link gem. With this, you can do combos. I really don't want to get any more fights while I'm here. Ha, and I want to be king of the Zuar Peninsula. Actually, I take that back. That sounds terrible. But you, you, my friend, you must learn to live with the hand that you're dealt. The Link Gem will help you as you... Oh, God's above. What? What is it now? An escaped portal monster. It looks almost dead. Run! No. I really think that together we could kill it with... Damn it, damn it he's gone. Come back! I don't, I don't know how to do combos. That's alright. I'll just direct from afar. Of course. Okay, now that I'm at a safe distance... Oh good, I was super worried. Do you have any questions on how to do combos or can I just keep running away? I have so many questions, but now that I've had an eternity to study the second Link Gem while you fled to safety, I think I can handle combos. 
The second one is called Headbutt, which sounds rather brutish, but it looks like it activates with up and left. Since Mega Punch is right then up, Headbutt is up then left, I guess I'll just kind of do both and see how that goes. Yeah, splendid. You're an inspiration to us all. Just kind of do both and see how that goes. Hmm. I'll be running away if you need anything else. Good luck! Is there a way to rotate the camera? Alright, so... We got Mega Punch and Headbutt off of just the one combo. That was amazing! You just kind of did both! I genuinely can't tell if that's sarcasm or if you're actually impressed. I am genuinely impressed. And it is genuinely not dead yet. It's okay, I think one more of those combos should finish it off. Uh, we might be dead by then, though. Fast. Mega Punch Headbutt. You actually did it. I'm sure you would be dragged back to the portal, or perhaps be nothing more than a bloody smear on the pavement, or do you think they eat humans? Please stop listing ways I could die. Yes, yes, of course. It was the one in the cloak right there. I saw them defeat the portal monster. A hero. A hero. The hero of portals. Uh, really, it was it was almost dead. I, I only... The hero of portals. The hero of portals. The hero of portals. <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, if you would all just listen for a moment. The hero of portals, everyone come see. The cloak traveler has come to defeat the monsters in single combat. Wait, what? Oh, gods, what do I do? Honestly, I'd just roll with it. But it's not true. I didn't defeat it on my own. First of all, you'll never get them to believe that. Second of all, as of an hour ago, you were destitute and homeless. This has likely solved all of your problems. And, well, I'm not going to tell anyone. See? Watch. Look. The Hero of Portals! I saw the glorious battle with my own eyes! You're, you're making it worse. Or better. Or worse. It's all a matter of perspective, dear hero. Now, I do believe I see an adoring mob coming this way. If you wish to avoid them, you should probably leave. Meet me at the temple later so we can continue our conversation. Yeah! Well, that was really weird. Different. And I loved every single second of it. That was awesome. Shout out to Abyssal Arts, and thank you guys so much for not forgetting me, even if I was dumb enough to forget that this game existed. I now remember why I absolutely love this. This looked amazing, and it is. It truly is amazing. Alright, I guess we're going to go to the temple, because it's like the only other place than the city gates, and I don't want to go back there. We can talk to the hat merchant. I think that sounds like a swell idea. What is going on in this city? I've been here for less than an hour and I've already had to pay all of my money as a bribe, been attacked by thieves, and to top it all off, there are apparently monsters from another dimension that show up randomly to drag people off? To be fair, nobody actually knows what lies on the other side of those portals, only that people don't ever come back. But you are right about one thing. These are tumultuous times for a Skendrun. I've heard nothing of this outside the city. I'm not surprised. The city guard won't, wouldn't want anyone to know in case the farmers stop bringing their produce. And the merchants stop bringing their ships. Monsters in the streets. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Well said, and so, why would we tell anyone? Who would believe us? But enough about that. The city guard will deal with the fallout from that portal. Tell me of you, traveler. Where are you from? The outer farms, I... I am? I, I think it, he means I aim to ba to bake. I aim to make a bit of money to send home, but I've already lost all the silver I had to get in here. Eh, common enough a tale, I'm afraid. Make sure you find yourself a protector, though, and you'll be safe enough. Uh, protector. What does that... Before you do, however, take these. What are these? Glowing recommendations I composed during the battle on the slender chance that you survived. Right. These five individuals control the major power blocks. Should there be a K? I'm sorry. In Iskindrun. I suggest you go and find each of them. And be very, very polite. Now, now off you go. Um, uh, thank you? Indeed, I shall look forward to watching your progress in this city. 
Well, that was super convenient and weird. Plot devices. We gotta go meet Navid. So we're going back to the city map. Or not. Do we click? What, what do we do? I, I am... Hmm. Go back to the temple? Ah, oh, there it is. Talk to Navid. My bad. You there. I saw you helping that hat seller. It was a kind thing to do, and brave, to fight the beast from the portal. Really, it was nothing. I'm, I'm just a traveler here from the outer provinces. Ah, but I must disagree. In troubled times such as these, it is the actions of the common people, for better or worse, that shape our world. The city struggles, filled with the poor and the needy, and if we do not help one another, what will become of us? Well, I, I hadn't thought of it like that. People rarely do, but unlike most, you seek to help. It is most commendable. Well, thank you. Indeed, and what might I call you, traveler? I am Navid, head priest here in Iskenderun. Iskenderun. I'll get it one day. Probably not, but we'll pretend. I am Hollaback Atya. I am pleased to meet you, Hollaback Atya. As you say, you are new here. Is there anything I might do to aid you? Well, for lack of any other options, I thought I would look for my friend. His name is Ravi. He and his family fled Gayan, sure, and they stayed with us for some time, but then came here to the city. Ah, well, I know where your friend would be, but I would caution you strongly against going there. You see, the refugees now live in the black market, and that is ruled by Zem, a most untrustworthy woman. She is capricious and greedy for riches. If you value your life, do not go there. But finding Ravi is my only option. I know no one else here. It is not so bad as you think. There are many in the city who will help you. Indeed, you may take refuge in the temple tonight, but believe me when I say that certain factions in the city may not be trusted. You would do well to avoid not only Zem, but also Azura, the leader of the merchants. She will give you honeyed lies about trade and riches, but you must remember that she is here only for her own interests, and that she has no love for Iskendrun. Well, I thank you for the warning. But enough about those to avoid. What you should do is have your papers processed with the city guard. Their headquarters lies over there. And remember, Hollaback Atya, those with courage and kindness are always welcome among the priests. Iskendrun is in dire need of, of both. Or of both, I guess. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. It's fine. We completed another quest. Now we can meet Omar or Sorab. Well... I'm going to go back to the city map. Oh, we go to the old town? What's there? It sounds awful. And yeah, the city guard barracks. Well, that was the first stop that he said to make, so I guess we talked to Sorab. Welcome to City Hall. Take a form, fill it out, line up on the left, and wait your turn at the desk. Wait, don't I know you? Uh, we fought some sort of monsters together this morning. That's right. It's good to see that you're here. We've been looking for you. So Rab wants to meet you. You know, the leader of the city guard. Follow me. Are you the traveler that helped my guards this morning? What is your name? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Hollaback Atcha, and really, it wasn't any trouble. Someone had just had to stop those monsters. Yes, precisely. How it is dis er, however, it is disturbingly rare that we see someone with your sentiment. Much of the city is devoted to trifling pursuits. Um, you are new here. You wish to be cautious in your speech. That is commendable. But there is no time to waste. What we need is people like you. People who will not lose their minds in the face of hardships. I see. You think me dull, perhaps. Boring. Without sympathy for the plight of those in the city? No, no. It is only right that you would think well of Iskendrun. Having traveled here from the outer provinces... It worries you that I say the city is in precarious straits. But you shall see the truth soon enough. Iskendrun, like the rest of the world, is a place where chaos will rule unless order is maintained. Without order, violence will consume us all. Thieves and murderers in the streets, fields unintended... Unintended? What? Untended. There we go. 
Shopkeepers unsafe. Do not be fooled, Hollaback at you. It is no ideology that will save us. It is order. Simple order. Well, the people panic to see portals open and release monsters. You and I understand that this is only chaos. The same as other chaos. You know that these monsters must be fought. That they can be dealt with as any other murderer. That's true. The monsters are dangerous, but no more so than other things. Exactly. You see that it is action, not words and gestures, that will save us. Navid shares your views. In a way, Navid is an idealist. He believes that food and kindness will solve all ills, for he does not venture out of his temple to see the true dangers lurking in the city. But he is an honest man, and beloved by the nobles, and he creates no violence of chaos, unlike some. Oh? Yes, there are places in the city you would be wise to avoid. Places even my guard cannot go without fear, which is shameful. There are troublemakers in Iskendrun. People whose actions spur the very chaos I seek to avoid. Be wary of Zem, the one who shelters the refugees from Gaian. Gaian? Gaian? I don't know. Causing chaos within sight of the nobles' mansions. And be wary, too, of Omar. He spreads lies about the nobles and their war in Tirwal. He is far more dangerous than Zem, for he seeks to throw down the nobles entirely and give us over to chaos. I see. I only wish to warn you, Traveler, the city can be unkind. However, there is hope, as long as we have citizens like you. With your help, we can make the streets safe and pave the way for trade and prosperity. Safety and prosperity are admirable goals. I am glad you agree. If you or er, if ever you should wish to join the city guard, come see me. And if you should wish to aid Iskendrun in a different way, by making sure trade is safe and profitable, or profitable, take this token, and you will be allowed to the docks to see Azura. Tell her that I sent you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, traveler. I look forward to hearing more of your triumphs in this city. Yeah, just knocking out quests left, right, center, up, down, back, and forth, doing things. But that's going to be it for the episode. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, guys and gals, but the game isn't quite out yet, so I don't want to get too far in. I want to get you guys all excited and whet, whet your appetite, make you guys salivate and froth at the mouth to play this, so you go out and buy it on release day. I don't know. I'm just, I'm being hopeful here. Anyhow, the game, once again, is called A City of the Shroud. I have no idea how to save the game or anything of that nature. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We're going to go back to the city. We now have the docks unlocked, the old town, city gates, temple, and the guard's barracks. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is in various links. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me that like. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and too many other things that will make your head explode. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't give in to the head explosion. And until the very next episode, folks, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. I thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I'll see you later. <laughs>